Yep, encoding overload. Who saw that coming? There we go. Okay, let me see. Check, check, check. So you're hearing Morse code right now. That's because copyright. Yep. <laughs> copyright music. Let me see, where's my voice at? It might be too loud. I can probably cop, <laughs> you know, lower it a bit. So let's get out of the copyright zone as quick as possible. Oh, uh, so just gonna talk over this. I forgot something. I forgot something. Uh, yeah. Oh, I love copyright. To go to Glove World. I better meet up with Patrick before he forgets what day it is or who I am. Oh, uh, that's kind of rude. Okay. So, feels heavier than Battle for Bikini Bottom. So, ch check. Check audio balance. Check. Check. Test. I mean, this is probably good, right? Right here. Don't want it to be too loud. Because copyright. Just checking my voice. La di da. La di da. Check. Check. Okay. So I'm gonna mute it. I gotta tab out. And now I gotta unmute my audio cable. All right. Oh, wait, it might be a little loud on my end. Okay. Jellyfish fields with a giant mesa. Just turn the music off entirely, but I want to hear it. Can't you just mute the music in game? Well, yes, but I like I want to hear the original music is the thing. Like this right here. Like, I want to hear that. Like, I don't want to miss out on that. Do you the sense you're being controlled by a higher power? Or, like, some kid? Ma'am, I am 25. And yes, I am playing Spongebob game. Don't judge me. I might turn off the... Preview just to save some resources. World's oldest kid. I mean, but stop doing that. It's not funny no more. No, 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 not you. Not today. This day will be about relaxation and inspiration. I am not to be disturbed on my precious day off. I will spend it with the love of my life. Myself. And my art, of course. Sounds fun. Can I help? For this, I need you to get something very important for me. Go away. Okay, let's talk to Patrick. Come back after my alarm goes off. I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule. Okay. I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big what are you doing here? Blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, <laughs> the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. A good idea. A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is got a smooch. in millions. I got a smooch. Spongebob wouldn't want this for me.
It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to come off. There's. There, it's more than a smudge. There's also a speckle. That's even worse. I am not sure that I got it. It probably it's good enough. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. You can tell some of these voice actors have gotten older, but some of them sound the same they did 25 years ago. And some of them were old 25 years ago. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot <laughs> about nails. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh god. I mean the tiki's are still here. All right, back it up. Nothing to see here except the giant traffic jam. <laughs> but yeah, like if you played Battle for Bikini Bottom, having having it rearranged like this is kind of weird. You're up earlier than an insomniac rooster. In the mood for a little morning karate? <laughs> Dang, you didn't need to go that hard. Yeah, it's me, Sandy. Love to. We'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks. But you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul. Y'all laughs. Ooh, reflection. I'm hungry and confused. Mommy. Okay, remove Tiki. Oh. Walk in place. Did I get smaller or did these tiki's get bigger? <laughs> okay, I don't know why they resized the tiki's, but all right. Brutality. When I was young, somebody made fun of me for knowing the name of the guy who voices Plankton and it fucked me up to this day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry, you now... You are now in a community where everybody knows the name of the guy who voices Great Plankton. Job, SpongeBob. My yard's looking fine as fur and a frog. I don't think they're supposed to have that. Yeah, I know, I just did it. You can turn off the tutorials, but... I'm waiting for the new mechanics to show up as the thing. Ah, my beloved Bikini Bottom. The most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe. Good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. And etern an eternity later. He stuttered a little bit. He's nervous. He's got stage fright. Oh, oh, oh. Morse code. Morse code time. Look, Patrick. Cool kids. Hi. Oh. I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Hmm. Nah. Still not cool enough. Huh? 
Ray Trace SpongeBob. This. What, this old piece of magic and mystery? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long lost treasures of the seven seas. For those on a budget. Ancient artifacts at a reasonable price? Soap. You're responsible. Into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Ooh. One loading screen later. <laughs> okay, I like the loading screens in this. I wish no. I wish no. I wish the oh, Okay, my first wish is on behalf uh -oh. of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. <laughs> balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ear? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Oh, Wait that's awfully it. nice. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Oh. Uh. Nifty bubble. I mean, <laughs> three hours later. <laughs> I mean, like, most of them are talking pretty loudly over. What does it mean when it says, Only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears. I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, Property of King Neptune. Not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. That's why you gotta read the fine print. Dang, this got loud all of a sudden. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, dear. Sorry. I, I hope I didn't skip that by accident. Okay, talking over Morse code, Morse code. Morse code. Oh, we got problems. Oh no, Patrick! What have we done? Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! I wish! If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! <laughs> See, SpongeBob? Oh, I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. Turn down the music, maybe. I mean, look, look. I could mute it, right? I could mute the game audio, but then you wouldn't get to hear nothing, right? And the thing is, I can't go into the menu. Like, I'm pressing start right now. I can't go into the menu to turn the music off during a cutscene. So that's just, that's not happening. So, I mean, usually, like, if it's really quiet or, like, the characters are talking over it, I think it's okay. But I'm going, obviously, I'm going to check this. After I upload this to YouTube, I'm going to, like, you know, treat any affecting, affected sections. Because I, I don't want to get a copyright strike. Like, okay. Let me just say, this whole thing is stupid. Right? Because it's like, okay, we got background music from a children's cartoon. And they licensed it out for this game. But, and it's like, if you play it, if you play it on your stream for even like five seconds, you're, you're like, kill, kill him. Mr. Electric, kill him. <laughs> and God, I just, I hate, <laughs> C copyright needs a serious reform and there's too much power. They might demonetize it, but I doubt they'd copy strike it. Right now, I'm not monetized on YouTube, so I don't think anything too bad would happen. But the thing is, one day I might be. You know, I'm not gonna say 
absolutely not not gonna happen because you know like okay if i get to the point where i get enough you know viewership to be able to monetize i might do it and i'm sure that videos like this will come back and bite me in the butt if i do that so i'm just kind of trying to play on the side of caution you know what i mean okay so i don't know this is is this copyright let me let me listen to it for a minute oh spongebob can walk the rope good thing squidward is such an even tempered fella or he might get upset about this <laughs> okay so there's sludge everywhere and spongebob's house is a can it's not normally like that, you see. My rock! My beautiful giant rock! Oh, it's left or my... Oh, no! My giant sticky notes are gone, too! Now how am I gonna remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Yeah, see, the thing is, though, I can't tell if this is copyrighted music or if it just sounds like Spongebob music. Because it, it could be I... <laughs> of course, they had to use that face. Wait, loop point. Loop. Loop point. Hmm, I... I don't think Ouch. this is looks pretty broken i think this is just in the style of but like i said we'll figure it out jump into the sludge i want to see if you can swim you know spongebob can't swim oh thank you patrick thank you <sighs> didn't bounce back like in the other game hmm frame rate seems like maybe a little choppy Okay, so I can't do anything about this. Wait a minute. Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. I bet it's all her fault. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is... <gasps> sponge breath? And bubble soap. Oh yeah, that's a good stuff. Hey, Kovar. And yeah, I, I do like how this game looks for the most part. It's a very nice spongy game. Very Weird. spongular. Sandy's house feels wetter than usual. I think we might need to find the top half still. I mean, technically speaking, it's goo. <laughs> Spongebob can swim in the water. Well, maybe he can't swim in the water. He just sinks to the bottom. See, the thing is, this is... Um, this wa- This water is not watery enough. I don't know. Water is air, and goo is water. <laughs> I can finally put my black belt to good use. And all this time, I've been using it as a scarf. Okay, let's move on. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, we got the glide. The pizza box. The crusty. Oh, I actually, I actually did not read that because I was too busy thinking about the the, the line. Yeah, can glide. Can do fun glidular things. Oh, oh, oh. The glide doesn't send you quite as far as I would like. You know, you fall a little fast. No, not the crusty crab. Oh, this is this is definitely. 
without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this! Uh-oh. Nefarious people. Take your wobbly hand off of me! I'm too smart to end like this! So, I think it's mostly during just cutscenes. Yeah, a, a 2D, like, Spongebob, a, like, you know, a 2D Rayman kind of thing going on. That would be cool. Oh, wait, we got a dodge system. We got a freaking dodge system. We're playing Dark Souls now. You multicellular idiots. Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos. My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing. You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing. Oh yeah, Spot. He's like from one of the really new seasons I haven't watched. Correct. Oh no! Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. Like Plankton got a pet. this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? Correct. In. Correct. Yoo hoo! Over here, my little blunders. My adorable cuties. You survived this calamity. No, Madam Cassandra! We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom! And now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and... 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 Well, I miss my Gear Bear! <laughs> she doesn't know who that is. Oh, this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly. The glue of reality. Your bubble stravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. Actually, it's quite good on toast. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident sense to me <laughs> i don't know what happened there but yeah she seems completely you know non-nefarious no questions here excellent now jump into the portals that opened up all over town i'm sure she has no I ulterior motives jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you each linked to one portal the more jelly you bring the more portals we can pass are you ready oh she said the line Come on. He Let's said the line. Bikini bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. <laughs> the plot of every Shin Mikami Tensei game ever. I think you know what that implies. Cow bar. <laughs> oh, no. No, what, what's sinister about that laugh? Portal that suits your costume. Once you have located How your is friends, she sinister? You can magic bubble wand to return them home. Use the shop to equip and purchase SpongeBob's costumes. Unlock costumes by playing the story, collecting doubloons, and completing side quests. Use Cosmic Jelly to purchase unlocked costumes. Access the shop in the pause menu. I wish I'd turned in earlier so I'd know why Patrick is like that. Oh, oh Patrick just... It, it's very simple. It's very simple. He wished for balloons. Uh, SpongeBob phrased the wish badly, and now he is a balloon. That's about all there is to it. So, awards. Oh, so these are like the achievements, right? Cool. Okay, so... Campaign costumes. And now I got these as like DLC, I believe. So you got... The Jelly Spongebob. Uh, Band Geeks. Uh, Opposite Day, you get to be Squidward. Dried Sponge. And you got the... He got the robot from Battle for Bikini Bottom. Mermaid Man and Caveman Sponge. So yeah, I got this because I like pre-purchased it on Green Man Gaming. Woo! 
Oh, you even get a special walk animation. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. He, he even like levitate. It's metal SpongeBob. Down, 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 down. Hello. Okay, so it's telling me to go this way. One of our friends might be on the other side of this portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. So can I go here without the cowboy costume? Or do I have to be wearing that? No, it seems like I can go. Oh, we... All right. The Wild West. Are we in the West? Probably not. It's probably the Northeast. Feeling we're not the bikini bottom anymore. Make Collect. Like the wild west. Yeah. He already said that. Uh. Oh, oh, I'm collecting. I'm collecting. I don't know what I'm collecting for. I guess the shop. Come get y'all juice. Oh, sorry, partner. I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money. Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Yeah, the frames are up. I'll, I'll put on the cowboy outfit. Little dab will do ya. Yeah, I'm not sure what frame rate I'm running at right now. I feel like it might be trying to run at a high frame rate. So you can just do like a little dash. Cause yeah, it's getting a little skippy here. <gasps> the red-handed bandit. Lock away your riches, he can't help it. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I may have to limit the frame rate on this. So, uh, give me a second. Give me a second while I do that. I just gotta pop into the NVIDIA thingy. Real quick. So anyway, how's everybody tonight? You doing all right? Maybe throw on V-Sync? Hmm, maybe, but the thing is I got, I got the, uh, the G-Sync, you know? I got the adaptive frame rate, so I feel like that should take care of it. And it, it, they tell you, they tell you not to turn on V-Sync when you're using G-Sync. Or else you will sync. How about in sync? I don't have that one. Okay, just just a sec. I I always forget <laughs> that the Nvidia control panel takes eight consecutive years to start up. It's amazing for playing, but it can be the enemy of smooth frame pacing for streams or recording. Hmm. True. Okay, NVIDIA's not appearing. <laughs> Hello? Okay, I guess not on that one. You know what? Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'm just going to turn my monitor. I'm just going to turn my monitor to 60 FPS, which is, of course, going to make everything move to it. Move to my... <laughs> right monitor when I don't want it there because Windows is fun 
And then I'm gonna turn on V-Sync, and that'll probably do it. That'll probably fix our issue. Okay, so... <laughs> let me turn on Morse code, because I know they got the... They got it on the menu. Yep, yeah, yeah, don't play the copyright. We don't need the copyright. Gonna turn V-Sync on today. Okay. <laughs> okay, so maybe this will be better. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty good on, uh, on the stream from the looks of it, but... Oh, ooh. Ooh. On my end, it is not, it is not good. The frames are not being paced well. Yeah, that's that is not gonna work. <laughs> that is not gonna work. And now OBS is probably gonna move to my other monitor. Yep. Wonderful. Oh, I love technology. Let me limit capture frame rate. Maybe that'll help too. Jelly sandwiches. Patrick, a sandwich knows what she's doing. Yeah, she it's. I mean, this is a little skippy, but it's way better than what it was a second ago. I mean, tell me what y'all think. Is there anything down here? It's like, when you look this way though, like when you look around, it sometimes gets a little crusty. Is this smoother than when you I- Oh. Do care. I mean, is this smoother than when I had V-Sync turned on? I mean, turned off? Like, uh... Is it smoother than... this? This music copyright. What is it, SpongeBob? What do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Uh, so Barnacles, it's like it's so maybe small. a very minor difference. In there. Why do we have to be so big? <laughs> oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not. It's just very Oh, uh, what was very with that audio? <laughs> Tom Kenny well, accidentally so talked into the tin small. can instead if of the microphone. Knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her. Uh, dude. Quick, let's catch up with her. She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first. Just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? But yeah, that's the that's the one thing about playing games on PC is that you sometimes get weird weird issues like this. Knew it. 
pizza. Oh no, don't don't hit me with that. Oh wait. What? Who's moving that? Oh, get me off of that. I don't want to be on that. What's this luggage doing in the middle of the desert? I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. Oh, she's going to want that. I've started going back to consoles because I got sick of troubleshooting every game I play. I mean, I can understand that. Oh, new move. All right, understood. Okay, yeah, this is... I don't know if this is just the game or if it's my PC or what, but uh, yeah, something's getting a little... Something's getting a little whack here. I'm gonna try NVIDIA one more time. Cause it, it was not popping up. It was just not doing it. So maybe if I, maybe if I exit it all together. I don't necessarily mind it, but I hate, like when I'm trying to stream and the game just looks like poopy for no real discernible reason. Okay, I, I think I am just not getting NVIDIA. I'm just, no matter what I do, it's just not, it's not showing up. I'd probably have to like restart my entire PC or something. Oh boy. Oh boy, I, how I love it. I love it so. Let me try VSync on again. You know what, let's, let's try, let's try exclusive full screen just for the, just for the jolly hell of it. Gonna get a little bit of an encoding overload. This is to be expected. I feel like I've had several near death experiences on this ranch before. Yeah, it's the wild west for you. So you just lob it. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What's she doing on a ranch? Mmm, I love ranch. Time for some ranch. Oh, there she is. Howdy, strangers. You came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's Spongebob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. <laughs> my very own license! Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fe. <laughs> I mean, this might be better. I mean, what's it looking like for you guys? Oh, oh. Oh, a golden spatula. I didn't know that was something we still collected.
know it. Oh, I can just destroy the whole fence. I mean, I'll... I'll look into more stuff about it, you know, before the next stream of this. But I guess I shouldn't worry about it too much, because then we're just gonna get stalled on that. So if it's, you know, if it's good enough, then it's good enough. And like, next time I'll see if I can open up the freaking NVIDIA control panel. <laughs> Oh, give me up there. Yep, yep. Little devil, do you? You uh, you may have said that already. Oh, oh. I wish you could do this indefinitely, like in the movie game. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to get up there like that. Okay. Sounds like an adventure within our adventure. <laughs> Double adventure. There we go. No. Nope. No. Nope. Thought thought I had it that time. Didn't have it. Come on. Well, I can I can get over there. There we go. Now... Oh, okay, there's a platform over here. No! <laughs> Gosh darn it. Don't worry, I'll get it. I will get it. Okay, we're back. Now come on. Come on, I whatever that is, I want it. Golden, it's shiny. Give it to me. Actually, what were the what were the other video options in this? Yeah, so Zero Janitor was saying something about this. So no, it's not very scalable, even still. You want like, you know, reduced shadows? Nah. Nah, you don't want reduced shadows. You're used to battle for bikini bottom, aren't you? Yeah, a little bit. And this definitely does not play exactly like battle for bikini bottom. Do not let- do not be told otherwise. SpongeBob is generally a lot heavier, it feels like. But it's also kind of snappier, like the ground pound is very instant. You know, whereas in those two games, you know, like the Battle for Bikini Bottom in the movie, it was more, you know, there was more of a wind-up animation. Okay. Beauty of nature. Hey, do you think they got vending machines here? So I went, I went up there. Yeah, that's where I got the other one. Okay, so uh, let's try this. Stop. I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh, so any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone. The movie one is you Truth survive. or Square, right? No, it's just called the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Ran on the same engine as Battle for Bikini Bottom. Which probably made development a lot faster. Ready, set, and go! Oh! <laughs> oh, I can boot. I can boots. SpongeBob, go! Oh yeah! <laughs> well done, SpongeBob. <laughs> You scored 35.7 points. Oh no, Mrs. Puff VTuber. Phew. That 
Where's your tool? Where's one? Keep on smashing! Don't worry, I want the currency. Chump a pony over the fence to escape the ranch. All right, just keep jumping. Oh, I, I like I like how they mixed in that one song from the show into this. Usually means stop. Uh, was it the Ray Corn Pipe? Oh dear, you have six points. And how many does he need to pass? Out of seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> Only one point away from passing. Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh, no, that's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. Here's your license. Thanks, partner. Oh, license. <laughs> <Yee -haw! laughs> Oh, I don't think she can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals. With the exception of... Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. All right, so we got that. Wait, wait. We made it to Manta Fay, my floating friend. Oh, I thought that was a thing. Oh, big trampoline. Champ might be at the saloon if you're still looking for them. How'd you get over here? Oh, this is, yeah, this is a show music. I mean, it's the show. Okay, well, it's over. I think, probably. You know, I mean, it's snail drag it's a here. piano. It can't you be claimed, right? Mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. <laughs> Too unsanitary. I'm looking Bendy for my straw. friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie. But hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, in. Better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sips straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't oh a man, no gun. Can drink more SpongeBob than doesn't get gun. Down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! Uh, I think he lost his pants. Combat. SpongeBob Warriors. The newest in the Musso series. After a sandstorm, taking on them jelly bandits like that. Let's see what you're really made of. Grab your straw. Cheers. Oh, oh! I didn't know we were playing Wario. Where? Cheers. Salute. So you just you gotta time it right, and then you gotta mash. There we go. Don't go on it. We're out of cactus soda. Ever since this red-handed bandit bandits took over our cactus farms, we've been running low on supplies. Any chance you can go up to Captain Hills and fetch some more cactus juice for us? The sooner we can finish our duel, the sooner I can solve your crab case. Don't you worry, Sheriff. Deputy SpongeBob. And balloon deputy Patrick are on the case. Hey, how's the game? Uh, so far pretty good. It, it there's we're having a some minor performance issues, but nothing too severe. I ain't afraid of these bandits. I'm just a conformist. <laughs> Shake my booty. Shake my booty. Hey, cutie pie, care for a tune about the red-handed bandit? The red-handed bandit? Do tell! 
Oh, the cactus juice and Mary Bay made every day feel sunny. Till an outlaw came a riding through to make a little money. That vile, twisted, tight fisted, red handed bandit. He robbed us of our juice and left our barrels dry. That vile, twisted, tight fisted, money grubbing, land loving, red handed bandit. This red handed bandit sounds like one bad dude. Don't worry, lady. We'll find more cactus juice and bring it back to Manta Fay. Well, here's what we're doing about the whole copyright thing. <laughs> it, I mean, it gets the job done. And you can still more or less hear the game. I love beating the shit out of NPCs. What is this? Oh, it's big money. Ouch. Hey, that was my hiding barrel. I liked when the Morse code played over the epilepsy warning in the beginning. Very analog horror. The SpongeBob Bella catalog. Oh, no, no, I want that. Nope. Is this the thing? No. Where is that going? <laughs> can I, can I aim this? No, so it's not aimable. Wait, what did I, what did I collect? How did, how did I collect that? Okay, so you can stop gliding and then like re-glide after a second. That's good to know. And yeah, like this move doesn't have a lot of wind up either. <laughs> Destroy! Followed by a message that reads again. I don't like cactuses. It's, it's, they're not even pretty. They're just green, juicy, and thorny. Like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. It'll quench you. Uh oh. Uh Looks like it wants to duel. Yeah, I already did that. There we go. But yeah, uh, ZJ was asking, can I talk to the butt dancers? I don't think so, but... Well, okay, never mind. I was, I was gonna go back and check, but it's not letting me, so... I guess not. This is a mystery we're just gonna have to leave unsolved. A familiar looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't Actual help but Mr. Krabs. talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spot. I mean, honestly, we haven't, a, we haven't had <laughs> Clancy Green in any of these games in quite a while. It's really just Battle for Bikini Bottom. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%, I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them since the shortage. I, I feel like I was never supposed to hear Clancy Brown say insane. I don't think that's a word he was born to say. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just <laughs> keep going till you reach them cactus. Patrick hills. Star, you are one smart shopper. And don't you scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only <laughs> taking 90% of the business. 
Come on, Patrick. Let's find those thorny cucumbers. So, I mean, you can just you can climb that. You can use this though. The crusty crab pizza. It can... Uh, there's nothing I love more than video Little game characters that are talkative to the point of interrupting themselves. <laughs> Truly a Bubsy Bobcat moment. Oh. Oh. Okay, good. It didn't... It didn't play the full thing. I don't know. I'm just... I'm terrified of all music. Any music that I recognize, I am terrified of. The environments look really nice. Yeah, I like it. Graphically. Oh. Okay, so you can press, you can press, uh, left trigger to do this, too. That's good to know. See, like, I just want to know when I get new moves. That's the thing. Otherwise, I would turn the tutorial off. Okay, I'm missing one. It's obvious that I'm missing one here. Maybe I don't need it. No, I probably need it. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> that was a little weird. Oh, here we go. Okay, interesting. If you... No, wait, never... Okay, so... If you hold A... You can glide and spin at the same time. That doesn't seem like it's on purpose. <laughs> yeah, that seems a little weird. I mean, I'd keep it personally. Just just add an animation for when you do it. To make it look like it was on purpose. Oh, there's a slingshot, there's a button. Yeah, you got some you got some distracting quests that you can engage in. If that is your bag. Oh wait. Oh, you can glide and then double jump. So you can you can do them in varying orders. So you can like double jump and then glide. Or you can jump, glide, and then double jump out of it. Interesting. I'm sure speedruns of this game will be interesting to watch. What? Okay, so I will say... This game might need some improvement to its sound mixing. <laughs> because holy crap, some of this is loud. have their own counters that reset independently of each other. Oh, nope. Oh, I've already won. Thank you. Oh, so can you just, can you just play this like infinite times? What do we got as far as like costumes? Okay, you can't buy- you can't buy these. These have to be unlocked through the story. But you can buy these. So you got underwear, uh, sponge buck. Oh, hey, that's like the official cowboy outfit. Uh, cuddly bob. <laughs> I like that. Boy scout. Let's see, this- you don't- you don't get to see what these are yet. You know what, I'll buy sponge buck if I have- do I have enough? No, I need two of those special coins. So I guess I'll have to get some more. I thought you'd buy the... I thought you'd buy them with, like, the goo, but I suppose not. Do you feel like we're being... watched? I mean, I'm watching him. It 
it's Master of Disguise. The Wario game or the, or the Dana Carvey movie? And then somebody's gonna tell me That's a big both. Slingshot. Oh, okay, I guess I can't do this yet. Check it out, SpongeBob. That's a rootin' tootin' view. I'm going wow. home on the range. So I'm guessing I can't go into any of these other places. Oh, I can talk to this guy hey, though. There's a bounty on the red-handed bandit. Have you seen that blasted outlaw in these parts? Uh. No, sorry. I'm new in town. But that bandit does look familiar. Focus, Patrick. We're looking for Mr. Krabs, not bandits. Actually blind. Sponge blind. And then you got some of these NPCs that just are there for flavor. Make the world feel lived. No. Okay, I'm fine. Ooh, look, an old warning sign. It says, "Cacteen Hills, spines, deadly heat, bandits, and quicksand." Enjoy. This seems pretty dangerous, SpongeBob. Maybe there's a seahorse around here in need of a licensed rider. Did I do the talkative thing? Uh, probably not. You don't want to. You don't want to get annoying about it. You know what I mean? Like, you could have a voice clip every now and then, but you don't want to stick- you don't want to have too many all the time. Oh. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Oh, you can see it right there. Part of the in-game UI. Well, <laughs> funny meeting you here. Just, uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping them safe from bandits. There's Juicy Prophet, I mean, uh, Cacti. All around these parts. Now get! Oh yeah, so this is, I believe, the area that they were showing this off in that one video. That gold us. So, like... What's going on all around here? So, they, it kind of just drops you in this open area at this point. Another old warning sign. It reads, Beware of Bullworm? Oh. worry about a little worm? Are we talking about the Alaskan variety? But yeah, I noticed there were some, uh, tiki's back here. Kind of want to get those. Like I said, don't- I don't know what you use these for yet. You really are oh. Right best friend. oh, okay, cactus is just death, I guess. Ow. Yeah, some of these just kind of float in midair, and it's a little weird. I thought you found a Mario 64 warp. That should cover my buns. That'd be funny. So, I need to wait. Even a blind hog can find an acorn once in a while. Okay, thank you for that. So. Is this actually faster? I think it is. So I think it is faster to like do this. Can I break crates with that? I mean Tiki. Sorry, this isn't this isn't Crash Bandicoot. I mean you could be fooled. It's the spitting image of twin sanity, but Oh you gotta hold why. The interrupting voice clips. A vain man will break his arm patting himself on the back. You know that's so true. I'm always all the time saying I expect I expect to be able to do like the up, you know, the up move from Battle for Bikini Bottom, but I can't do it. 
I can't do it. I have to remember that I can't do it. Oh no, watch out for the... Kum. Oh, okay, so that's just a shortcut back up here. Oh, battle section. Watch out for the jewel creature. Oh man, I could have used that to get up there. Could have used that as a shortcut. But now I gotta take a long cut. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The lack of gravity on those is a little weird. Well, whatever. Oh, more tightrope section. Surprised they didn't have a Tony Hawk balance meter for this. I've never seen a fish like this. I mean, I'm glad, but you know, they they could have. What does this do? Oh, it's just it's just for that. Okay. Oh no, no, don't hurt me. I'm just a sponge boy. Ooh, that looks fun. I bet I can get down faster than you. Uh sir, you are a balloon. Oh oh no, I missed it. I missed them. I gotta restart the whole game now. Ooh, more jelly. Yeah, that, it, it really goes down faster than I think it's going to. You don't live longer in the city. It just seems that way. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't live in the city. So I, w I wouldn't know, I guess. So you could just do this. <laughs> That's a speedrun tech. A speedrun tech I'm not going to do because I want to break these open and get the juicy jelly inside. I swear he said that twice. You know, guys, no pun intended, but I don't think this SpongeBob game is exactly watertight. I think it may have a few technical shortcomings. Not need to tilt that up a bit. Oh, we're going to heaven. We're going to heaven. Oh, wait, actually, uh, up from under the water is just the surface, <laughs> isn't it? You could probably make a kind of sausage, sausage party esque narrative about that. Fish think they're going to heaven, and then it's just like. Oh, it's really dry up here. And the cum monster. The chewing gum monster has migrated out of Pac-Man and in the SpongeBob. God, that is so loud. Why is this music so loud? It's not, like, drowning me out, is it? Battle for Bikini Bottom had a lot of repetitive voice lines, too. Yeah, I mean, if nothing else, they're... they're being accurate. You know... you know, guys? I might have figured out why this game has a couple technical issues, because, uh, why are we drawing those? <laughs>
Why are we... <laughs> why are we rendering the puffer fish from this far away? Come on! We gotta bring all this sap back to that guy who looks kind of familiar. Okay, this time I'm gonna get him. This time I'm gonna get... Oh, I'm too high. I'm too high! Oh, I got some at least. Oh, I'm si <laughs> Okay, that keeps happening. You got a knack for reaching them cacti. Just drop the juice in this here barrel for uh, <laughs> safekeeping. I mean, are they using a level of detail model? Okay, cuz like I don't see them over here. They're not rendered over here. Yeah, I, I think there's a little bit of optimization that could be done. Why did Spongebob become an obelisk? Because he was ground pounding, you know, that's- that's how you do it. Oh, train. Train. Oh, I gotta fill the barrel with the juice. My bad. So let me see, let me see this. Can I get it to happen on purpose? Yes! That- okay, that's gonna be in the thumbnail. A <laughs> new emote. <laughs> it might work as one. Oh, thanks for the sub, Darkwing. One barrel down! Follow that trail, my little saps! Please, emote, make- <laughs> Okay, if you guys want it to be an emote, I'll make it an emote. Never say that Dustin VG does not listen to the people. Oh, okay. <laughs> not really any obstacles for that one. Just kinda do it. Oh, and you can, uh, you can chain one of the dodges into an attack. What would it mean, and it would, what would it be called? Maybe just Sponge Obelisk? But yeah, you can do like, you can do like this. And you get to keep the speed and everything. Eoink. Eoink. Spongelisk. <laughs> yeah, that seems good to me. Wait, is there a platform over here? Oh, it's just above me. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Spongelisk. Sp Spongebobalisk. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I think I'll go with that one. If it's not too long, that is. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've added dumber emotes. Oh, oh. This is- this has gotta be on purpose, right here. Yeah, it gets really loud when you enter one of the battle sections. And I apologize for that, but there's little I can do. I used to be into Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was, like, younger, but it, I can't say that it, I've kept up with it in modern years. But I did- I did see one of the movies in theaters. Some men are so crooked they can swallow a nail and spit up a corkscrew. You know, I feel like I could link that to Amigara Fault somehow, but... I don't know how. A little dab will do. 
<laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh has suddenly become relevant again, and it's weird. Yeah, you know, I have been seeing a bit more Yu-Gi-Oh than I remember seeing in the past couple years. Okay, so yeah, can't can't do this now. Whatever that is. So I guess I... Where am I going? Oh, I go that way. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. Junji Ito is a is a quite good horror ma ma manga artist. I know it's a it's a hot take, but I'm I'm ready to say it. Oh yeah, the, the roll attack, the roll cancel, or the dodge cancel is really, really fun to use. Oh, dang it, not again. Yeah, you might wanna, you might wanna fix that one. Okie doke. Fill the barrel up. Oh, I'm gonna need more set than that, boy -o. All right, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, cool, thank you. Is it just me or does Mr. Krabs seem like Kind of weirdly small. He shrunk a lot in his old age. Hmm. That seems like a puzzle of some sort. You got me, though. Okay, so the the kaboom that he does doesn't actually hurt you. That's worth keeping. I think uh, I think the puffer fish just did that. You seen things, SpongeBob? All this desert must be giving you sand brain. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's not Mr. Krabs. Oh crap! I want that though. Oh no! Oh no! I knew I could count on you, Patrick. Do I get to keep it? Yeah, I get to keep it, okay. Death is meaningless. That should cover my buns. Sticky sweet. Yeah, so I'm definitely having a bit more fun now than I was in like the first hour. Mostly because the copyright music has kind of dried up. And also because I, I feel like the game's running a little better now, but maybe I just got used to it. I don't know. But yeah, now that now we're getting into the meat and potatoes. It's another another old sign. It says mine closed bullworm activity. That little wormy must be pretty busy to make such big holes. Well, maybe we should keep moving, Patrick. Patrick does not even remember. There are times in Battle for Bikini Bottom where it's actually helpful to die. Oh wait, what was that? I feel like I just did some kind of tech. <laughs> yeah, like so something went on there. Oh wait, okay. You can do that. I don't know if that's helpful at all. But yeah, you can you can cancel a lot of things into a lot of other things. It's like a fighting game. Now I just need now I just need to be able to wave dash. And I mean considering we're underwater, wave dash would be especially funny a term. Probably faster to do that because Spongebob's walk speed gets kind of nerfed. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Is it just me, or is everything in this place trying to hurt us? It's almost like we're in a licensed game from the early 2000s. We melt those cactuses for all they were worth. I mean, technically, SpongeBob can wave dash in Nick All Star Battle. Which I should really do another stream of because it's been a while and <laughs> they've added a bunch of DLC to it That I just have not shown at all Though I, I also need to go back and show multiverses again for the same reason It's been a little bit since they've talked about adding anything to multiverses. I wonder what's going on. Nick All Stars is a funny game. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame that it seems like that's all we're getting from it. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I forgot I could capture him in the bubble, like bubble bobble style. And I mean, I love Hugh Neutron, but I really think they should have added Jimmy first. I think they just leaked Pickle Rick, which, eesh, bad timing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I know there was like this whole huge leak of characters a while back. Patrick, I think we've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature, like a goose. You know, I was gonna say, how does Patrick know what a goose is, but he also I knows see. what an elephant I and giraffe... Right well, no, he doesn't know what an elephant is, I but he knows what a giraffe is. Oh, wait, no, or at least thinks he does. Okay, now I'm ready. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm, I'm free. You can't stand on that. Uh, what do, what do I do now? Okay, so I guess I can go over here. I, I want that, though. There are sea cacti, aren't there? Yeah, that's true. Maybe, uh, maybe, you know, just maybe. I'm thinking a little too hard into this. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting- I don't think I'm getting that. Oh, oh, oh. I can't tell if we've gone this way yet. It's so dark. It's dark for them, not for us. Howdy, strangelings. What brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost. It's all mine. We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir. Our friend Soda depends on it. Well, I could let you use my elevator. But what's in it for me? Anything you want. There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good. That darn Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. Knocks my shiny tooth out. Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. All right, gold tooth. Have, has anyone in chat ever actually known anybody that's had a gold tooth? I feel like that's way more common in fiction than in real life. I had a grandpa with a gold tooth. I see. Okay, but I feel like we're about to walk into a boss fight, personally. If I was a tooth on the loose in the nest of a giant worm, where would I be? Okay, never mind. Speaking as a slob who lives in a hole, I think something is living in this hole! Ew, it smells like Gary's litter box in here. That smell was not me. I swear. That's pretty gross. <laughs> Gotta get the poop joke. Oh, we got the golden tooth! Hurry, oh. let's get back to the marker before something gets looking for it. 
Okay, so there's like a battle arena, but I haven't seen the worm. I'm sure the worm's gonna show up at some point. They would they wouldn't just name drop the worm and then not have it show up, right? Absolutely unthinkable. Uh, ow. I was kind of stuck into that, I feel like. Is there another one somewhere? Another spawner? No, no, there wasn't. Yeah, for some reason they couldn't get Clancy Brown for Battle for Bikini Bottom or Ernest Borgnine. So Mermaid Man sounded weird too. Hey, uh, with a bit of gold nugget, you'd be worm food by now. But since you and he sounds like, did you find my tooth? Oh, to clip my toenails. Oh. Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course. That's two poop jokes. Whatever you say. The elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. <laughs> An ironically imp a better impersonation. <laughs> I, I still think about how Clancy Brown was Neo Cortex one, at least once. I don't- I don't know how many Crash games he was a, a Cortex in, but... At least one. So what happens if I go down here? How do I get- how do I get back up if I go down- uh, like this? Okay, so I need to see some. Okay, so that is a thing you can do. You can Donkey Kong Country this. And it does, it does count as a single jump. Am I the only one who keeps hearing the DKC theme in this song? Now that you mention it. They're stealing our soda supplies. Hurry up, Patrick. We got ourselves a train to catch. Sometimes health is underwear, and sometimes it's Krabby Patties. I mean, I guess when I'm playing as somebody other than Spongebob... I mean, it was, uh... It was Krabby Patties in the movie game. This implies that Spongebob eats the underwear. I mean, of course, how many pairs of underwear do you really need to wear? You know? Yeah, you're right. Back to back to underwear. Is 
this available to play now? I mean, I'm playing it, aren't I? I'm sorry, that was that was unnecessarily smart assy. But yeah, it's out. I believe you got an advanced copy. I mean, hey, if if if, if Viacom and THQ are gonna send anybody a review copy, <coughs> they know I'll probably speak well of it. <laughs> Considering that like 50% of my Discord activity is referencing this show. So wait, there's, there's some, there's some in there. I want to grab that. They should send you the new Paper Mario games early. Oh no, they would, they would do that once and immediately realize the folly of their ways. Oh yeah, I'm sp I'm I'm speedrunning this game. I I'm already learning all the tech. Yeah, achievement. Ah. Oh, Jones Locker, SpongeBob. I know you mean well, but you gotta let me stay. Please. You're under arrest, red handed bandit. He recognizes me. You gotta take me back. I beg you. This old soft <laughs> shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. Oh, wait, no, I introduced myself. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. The thing is, though, like, why doesn't he take Sandy with him? Because, like, okay, I, I think in the plot, that's not the real Sandy, right? Like, okay, only Mr. Krabs is the real Mr. Krabs. But I don't Ooh, think he knows that. That sure taught me a valuable lesson. That it's not all about money? No, not to get caught. What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but... I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. Are there other playable characters in this game? Uh, I don't know yet, but I don't think so. I think there's like, you know, mounts that you can get on, like the horse and whatnot. But I don't think you could, I mean, okay. You're, you're not playing as Patrick in this state. And Sandy seems a little unlikely. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride. All right, so the map allows you to travel back to any checkpoint reached in the Wishing Worlds. Yeah, so it's about how Battle for- Battle for Bikini Bottom lets you warp to the missions. This lets you warp to the check mo checkpoints. Use the map to revisit worlds, complete side quests, and find golden doubloons. Boss fights can be replayed from the map once you have completed the story. Oh, okay. So they're saying like- According to the trailers, you do eventually get to play as Sandy. Oh, okay. So let's see. Wild West Jellyfish Field. Yeah, so you got all this. No active objectives. But I only have three out of 11 doubloons. So I probably do need to get some more. SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me. 
There are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can. It's a bucket. And it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. Oh yeah, sass fight. No biggie. I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. I guess Mr. Krabs is just going to stand there now. I mean, he's, he, did, he don't have anything better to do. Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Oh, are we getting a new move? Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. Uh, fair enough, that's how it tends to work. All right, so how do I how do I use that? I was so happy when I got back. I'm not ashamed to say that I ate some dirt. It wasn't bad. Those first 128 bites of dirt were not so good. Maybe the next one will be better. Okay, so... Oh, oh, it's up there. Uh, how do I get up there? Can I just... Can I glide over there? Yeah, I can make it. I can make it. Oh, oh, so you just... You ride it. Oh, you just ride it. Okay. I thought it was like a new move. So you gotta avoid these. Or at least smash them on the way. There we go. Yeah, I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Is this like the 158th different old man Jenkins that we've received in this series? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, let it be known that the Chum Bucket will humbly accept its role as the town's sole source of sustenance. You fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the Chum Bucket ever again. Uh, don't hurry. Wait, was that last part really necessary? No, please, take your time. So there's some exploring to be done in the actual hub world. And enemies. There are enemies in the hub world. What did Plankton just say again? <laughs> he said, uh, don't hurry. He said, please, take your time. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's you two. Oh, thank you, Patrick. <laughs> I thank wish you. I had a friend like that. Oh, is this, is this out of bound? Mmm, I don't know. Not quite as good as Hans. Not quite as buggy either. But we liked the bugs. And we liked the SpongeBob scraping at the ground animation. Wait, what's the point of a water tower? <laughs> I guess that's a tower that shows that you're underwater. That's stupid. I can dig it. <laughs> oh wait, so now that we're out of that, let's uh... I wanna be Bubble... I want Bubble. I wanna be Robo-Bob again. What is this? Make do sticky good notes. Well, that one was almost a sentence. Is that like the socks of this game? I like that he hovers like Metal Sonic, me too. Oh my yes. So much 
pure, unadulterated jelly so much raw power. I'm pretty sure no one has ever said that sentence before. To create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. Ooh, my karate gear. The most stylish outfit I own. Getting around will be much faster with these seahorses. They'll be much bumpier too. For you. For you. Oh, Miss Puff is fine. She's right here. School's out, SpongeBob. I have a bit of a heated situation here. Yeah, I mean, I, I can understand that. You know, stalagmites. Has, has, has the game explained what the deal with these enemies is? <coughs> I think they're just like the cosmic jelly that's everywhere. Okay, let's ride. A little These jelly things kind of look like something Squidward would make, right? Oh yes, I think he called them, what was the word? Art. Well, I'm gonna call them Samantha. Oh, I can just, I can just, I can steer it anywhere now. I, I thought I was like still on a rail. Go! Oh wait, that, that doesn't work, no! Oh. <laughs> well... That was a little weird. Oh wait, I'm, I'm probably not supposed to come at it that way. I just realized. And I just remembered! We're out here! Nope. Nope, please leave me alone. Okay, so you can just- you can ride wherever you need to go. Find, find the new portal. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Ow. I'm getting... hurted quite muchly. Oh, okay. It's all right, just hop right back on. Don't give up hope. SpongeBob and <laughs> on their way. SpongeBob, you're out of frame. <laughs> well, we can play a little bit of this one. You, you can kind of steer him in this loading screen. Oh, well, there was a level of detail. Ooh, now I know why they call them stretch limos. You gotta stretch first. You think Sandy came this way? She never struck me as a red carpet squirrel. But, you know, what do I know? Good thing I put on an extra layer of sponge gloss today. That's a weird reference. Oh, uh, no. Come on. Come on. Nice shadows, though. Eh. Come on. There we go. Dun. Dun. Nah, 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 nah. Dun. It's like the kids next door theme. Oh, it's the Thunder Tiki. Definitely not the TNT crate. I have to admit, totally would have expected someone bigger for the part. But everyone seems small to me. <laughs> Sorry, am I oversharing? It's my first day, and I'm so nervous! Filming starts in one minute and 58 seconds. Uh, no, 57. Uh, script down. Uh, 50. Uh, just hurry up. Statistically speaking, the director's assistants only last 0.87 days before they're let go. I need to do better. <laughs> chop, chop. This way. He isn't the patient kind or the understanding kind or the kind kind. <laughs> Oh, I, I can't, can't go in there. This is the leading man. Let's take some pictures to capture this train wreck. Wow, 
What's going on with that Squidward painting? A love story. Squid von Hammerschmidt. And uh, he's like some kind of flesh blob. Which reminds me of an episode that I really do not wish to remember. So close. This is a no-go zone. The stars get cranked up their me time. Guess we gotta find another way, Patrick. Okay, now how do I get up there? Can I can I get up there? Oh crap. How did that hurt me? That that did not hurt me. I do not accept it. Enter the sponge. I guess that's the one we're doing right now. Crabs. Oh, hey, it's Mrs. Puff. These pictures better not make me look too puffy. Can I get your autograph? I'm your biggest fan. You don't have to flatter me. Really, just give me the pen. Will you sign my forehead? Uh, no. Was that a reference? But that man in the security guard jacket will. Uh, is this a reference to the episode? Okay, so I guess this is where we get the kick move. So I gotta come back with that. Uh, hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sp what are you still doing here? Please go to the exit or I will get fired. The director is waiting for you. Huh? How did you get here so fast? She must have cut the line, Patrick. Lucky. <laughs> Oh wait, there was a reference over there and I was looking at it. <laughs> oh boy, that is one big heavy jelly. As long as it stays in that cage, you'll be fine. <laughs> of course they had to put handsome Squidward in. But there's the dude from Karate Island. Silhouette of Sandy. I like the effort that went into some of the decorations in this. Oh. Like, I appreciate the variety of the posters. Okay, so yeah, you have to go over here. That so you can sneak past the bouncers. Even though we're apparently supposed to be in this. You know, it's honestly pretty nice of Squidward to cast us in his movie. Kind of uncharacteristically nice. Can I stand on this? I remember I could stand on this and rehydrate it and it did not end well for me. Oh, okay. Don't know what that was for. Ah, uh, yes, ramen. The writing in this game is pretty charming so far. I like it well enough. Oh, he's gonna hit me with a bathtub. So, what do I do with this guy? Okay, he gets dizzy and then you hit him. Wait, does he have butt? I need to know if he has butt. 
No, 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 not really. There's also a little bit of Cowboy Bebop going on. <laughs> Let's jam. Oh, that was perfect timing. Music in this game is honestly pretty good. Yeah, I like it pretty well. I think it's just a movie set, Patrick. Though I will say it, it may, it's not quite on the level of Battle for Bikini Bottom, but maybe that's not a fair comparison. Little framey. Sticky sweet. Now I kind of wonder what this game runs like on, like, what? What was it? The PS4? What is this on? I usually have to let the music soak in for a while before I can judge it. Yeah, I'm honestly, that's fair. Late, I see. Now get to your marks. The director is Squidward? He's got vision, SpongeBob. Yeah, like, there, there are some soundtracks that have honestly grown on me. Oh, hey, it's the, the food. There's, like, there's a ton of references to actual episodes in this. And, I mean, I don't mind them too much when they're subtle and not, like, super in-your-face about it. The food reference. Well, you know, I mean from, like, Club Spongebob. Ooh. Ooh, more jelly. Destroy the cameras. I've broken quite a few things in my day, but it's all part of the job. Wow, that's dedication. But it must be worth it to have all those adoring fans. Yeah, adoring fans. Right. I know it's just funny to say... I know it's just funny to say the food reference. True. I like that they even got the voices for the, uh, like, the incidental characters. Legit, I want to start watching Spongebob, but I always have to start from the first episode or I'm lost. Well, <laughs> well you're in luck because the first three seasons are usually considered the best ones. What squirt of an actor did those at the agency lay upon me? I promised them art, and how do they repay me? I demanded a hero, not a little Oh, okay, well, never mind. I take back Did what I said about Squidward being nice. Time in a hot tub? <sighs> Hi, Mr. Director, sir. I'm SpongeBob. Filming starts at 9, uh, 8, uh, uh, really soon. Can't those uncultured casting Not cool, Squidward. Don't say that again. That I'm allowing them to be part of what is sure to be the greatest film sensation ever to hit the sea. But don't lose heart. I still have the talent to turn you into a tool of destructive beauty. Oh, goody! In this scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. And don't walk out of frame. Oh. Oh. And action! Oh, it's an auto scroll. That that is that is a really interesting way to justify an auto scroll. Oh, kelp shake. We've already established that SpongeBob is bad at staying in frame. That's true. We did. It's like a uh, you know, it's like poetry. It rhymes. Would you just defeat those jelly things? I'm feeling better already. Sticky sweet. Oh, 
Oh. Yep, stay, stay on screen. Oh. I don't know what was in there, but it was something. <laughs> the SpongeBob speedrunners ain't gonna like this. And just wait till they find the auto scroll skip. guy again I, I keep getting worried that that's hitting me but it's just kind of the knock back I think okay that one hurt me uh-oh uh-oh I mean I need to remember I this is actually intended to be a dodge <laughs> Not just the sponge dash. Ooh, more jelly. Talk to Cassandra. Oh yeah, there she is, right there. Oh, what is a uh, frame? Wow, what a beautiful bubble! I want to pop it. You can't. It is indestructible magic, thanks to the jelly you're collecting from my um hour cause. Cassandra, are you sure this is the right place to find Sandy? The portal brought you right where you're supposed to be. Don't resist the Jellyverse. Into the Jellyverse. Instead, take it, store it, and bring it to me. Besides, the Jelly whispered that you've done some commercial work. Don't your square pants long to be in the spotlight once more? You're right! If it means saving Sandy and the world... Why does she kind of look like a Garfield character? Yeah, out. a little bit. Thanks, Cassandra. Okay. We're huh? so lucky to have Cassandra helping us. What a selfless lady. <laughs> okay, so we have a few things we can look at here. Can I jump this? Sure can. I mean, not that it's skipping much. Ooh, Karate. Anything else over here? Uh, not that I'm seeing. Let me drive this. Maybe that's not a good idea. Ugh. Still can't use that. I really should bubble these guys. I keep forgetting to do that. Let's jam. Horrible judge of character is a core part of SpongeBob's personality. Yeah, it it's uh Patrick. Oh, it's a, he's an arrow. He's pointing me where I need to be. I thought that was a glitch. a wimp run around, I'd be directing Wimp Racer 2, like my agent told me to. This is a karate film. But I guess I have to work with what I've got. Let's start with something simple. A karate kick. But yeah, SpongeBob's supposed to be very naive. Finally, the kick. I've been waiting for the kick. Karate kick it. Ow. Oh, that didn't hurt me. Now, 
to really prove that you know how to embody a great hero of karate, I have prepared a little challenge for you. Across the roofs of the city. Now, kick down that door and get moving. All right, will do. I say we kick things off. But first, I'm going to collect this. I'm not sure what the golden spatulas are for, to be honest with you. Like, does it- does it keep track of them? I mean, maybe one of the side quests is to find them in each level? Alright, we unlocked some new costumes, I just remembered. Or wait, did we? Oh no, we gotta get the- we gotta get the three stars before we can do that. Then goes all the way up to seven. Okay. I hit that. It, there we go. Check behind stuff. You never know. All the frames are getting especially framey. Very framular in nature. No, I need to need to hit that. Okay. So SpongeBob's just straight up got the homing attack now. Oh yeah, that's good. That's the good stuff. Can I go up here? I feel like if you if you played your cards just right, you could maybe get up there. Maybe if I, like, uh, did this number. No. Okay. Well, we're not gonna waste time with that. Well, there's stuff down here. Except there's not, no. Well, I guess there's technically stuff. I mean, I didn't say it was useful stuff, but it is stuff. I guess that's just a sort of safety net if you fall down. Oh, Carp. My limbs feel even spongier than usual. Well, I hope Cassandra is right. And all this bopping around will lead us to Sandy. I wonder if there's another button you can press for that, like with uh, the ground pound. Uh, it does not appear to be, or at least I can't figure it out. Sticky sweet. No, I guess it's just why. Oh, new enemy. I like that they kept this from Battle for Bikini Bottom. The, the enemy little little introduction little cutscenes. Yeah, we got that uh, Not the quick I have nullified I this collectible. So you gotta nullify them with the kick. And follow through. For true combo. I thought maybe you could, uh, attack the, the bubbles with the kick, but I guess not. Oh. Okay, cool, cool. Miss everything. It's fine. <laughs> that would be too fun. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you even gotta be in the air to use it. Wow. 
Uh, gotta hate the paparazzi. Like, uh, yeah, here's a profession that's just literally stalking people. No, I want to go. I want to go up. Crap. Yeah, and you can only you can only homing attack very specific things. Sticky sweet. Can't you can't do it on the tiki. I feel like if this was a Sonic game, you could do it on the tiki. Uh, no sushi. But, I mean, if this was a Sonic game, there wouldn't be any Tiki's, so maybe the point is moot. Well, no, there, there have been Tiki's in Sonic games. You know, not of the destroyable variety, but they have existed. Hold on, I'm, I'm collecting. Very important. Camera kind of pans out when I'm standing there. Okay, now we're getting- we're, yeah, now we're getting framing again. Maybe I should play this at 720p. I don't know, there's something that... <laughs> there's something that my computer isn't handling. Hey, short, yellow, and spongy! There's a lot of paparazzi hiding on this set who wish to smear the director's reputation by capturing the fishy side of his process. Which obviously doesn't exist. It would be real cool if you could just Some them games are just framey moves. regardless of settings. Yeah, that is I true. I make myself extra picturesque. <laughs> now see, okay, modern SpongeBob. That's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you do the funny face. Like I gotta be, I gotta be not expecting it. <laughs> Of course, this being purple lamp, we gotta throw in the memes. Modern SpongeBob should just be video games. Yeah, we're a, we're a platformer mascot now. That's the new wave. The wave of the future. Uh. So, that seems- this seems to be a thing that's once per level is the press X and then A a bu whole bunch of times minigames. <laughs> I can't say I understand the design decision, but okay. It's a real Hollywood picture, no Mickey Mouse bullshit. Not just platformer. Oh, yeah, I know what you're saying. FPS. The SpongeBob gun game is real, baby. Ooh, more jelly. Now Spongebob won't be the only one full of holes. War Wario-like where you play as Mr. Krabs. Honestly, out of any character they could put in a Wario-like, Mr. Krabs honestly would fit pretty well. <laughs> He's got brute strength. He likes money a whole- uh, 
He likes money a whole lot. I don't actually know what other than a platformer SpongeBob could work in. Well, there's been a few other things. Like, he had a WarioWare clone one time. And there was a... Uh, like, Lights, Camera, Pants. That was, like, a mini-game collection. Oh. Climb. Climb! I always wish he was playable in Battle for Bikini Bottom. I mean, he sort of is in the remake. But only in two-player mode, unless you hack. You can- you can hack him into the main campaign, but, uh... He doesn't play super well because he's missing too many of the moves. Oh, but it's, you know, it's a fun experiment at least. Oh yes, Spongebob, do the meme face. Honestly, that if Spongebob was a real person, they probably would ask him to do the meme face, wouldn't they? I like how it's like, find the hidden paparazzi, and then it's like, oh yeah, here's an icon exactly where they are, by the way. Yeah, I really do feel like those should be affected by gravity. Oh wait, this one talks? Well, this game is made for kids yeah. under 25. <laughs> that is true. But I mean, listen, you I was a kid too sponge. once. The security guard will let you pass now. I I played video games when I was a child. Oh, I guess the pearl bounce. But I think that's where I'm going to stop for right now. And, uh, next time we'll probably finish up some of the Yoshi's Island stuff, uh, encoding overload, by the way, sorry about that. We'll finish up the Yoshi's Island stuff next time, probably, and then we'll do some more Spongebob, or Mischief Makers, one of the two. <laughs> but either way, hopefully not, <laughs> hopefully not too long before we get back to this. But, you know, in the meantime, I'll, I'll look up to see what I can do to optimize it. We'll see, we'll see what PC Gaming Wiki says about this game in a few hours. Game looks better than I expected, honestly, despite the tech issues. Honestly, this is about what I expected from it. You know, I expected something that's like... evocative of Battle for Bikini Bottom, right? Because it, I mean, it is the developers of the remake. And I... You know, it's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, you're obviously gonna get more out of it if you're, if you're into Spongebob. If you like the cartoon, then you're obviously gonna get more out of it than somebody who isn't. But it's a, it's a solid, like, little 3D platformer. It reminds me a lot of, you know, stuff that came out in the sixth generation, and that's, that's exactly what I wanted from it, so I'm, I'm satisfied. Like, if I, like I said, if I can, if I can sort out some of the performance, like, if I can, I'll probably cap it to 60 FPS next time. You know, hopefully I'll get, you know, the NVIDIA control panel to actually pop up. That would be helpful. But yeah, if I can, if I can like smooth out the performance a bit, but like Zero Janitor said, sometimes there's just games that are like that. Sometimes it just happens, you know, which is again, why I'm, I'm curious what it runs like on the consoles. I don't know, PC, PC ports are always kind of hit and miss. You know, it, it does kind of feel like we're a secondary market. And, I mean, I guess I get it. But, you know, the other thing about PC ports is you do get access to the mods, and, you know, people can create fixes on their own, which is like, if you're playing on console, if you don't have your console soft modded, you're, you're SOL, basically. You know, you're just, you're done. You're done. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, I'll look into that, see what, if anything, I can do to improve it. Pro probably lock it down to 60 again. 
But yeah, uh, probably not next stream, maybe not stream after that, but then the third stream will be this game again. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I might skip one round of the side game. But I'll see you around, everybody.